So we're both mechanical engineers. Let's talk about more of like, you know, the physical interface and some of the prior examples did touch on physical interfaces, but you know, now that, you know, there's this anatomy of yes, consumables, they're complex. They do interface at times with a durable that's reused, but you know, talk a little bit about the physical interface rather of durable and disposable devices. There's a few things that we, we think about and create optimizing those, those physical interfaces. One is sealing. If you're, you're manipulating a fluid, whether it's, it's a, a liquid or a gas, maybe saline or, or air, um, is in that cool stack case, you want to make sure that you're getting a reliable seal in that connection, which can be difficult for something that will see a lot of cycles. And so you need something that's not going to wear over time in a way that's going to negatively affect that. Or maybe you put your compliant component on the disposable side. Let's say it's an O-ring and you have ro more robust, rigid components on the device side. That's a great way to, uh, to achieve one of those connections in a single use case. Other things that you like to think about are users like to have some kind of haptic feedback in making those connections. And so maybe you want to use something like detents or uh, similar spring-loaded elements to get your disposable to kind of snap into place when you place it, because the absence of that haptic feedback can sometimes make users worry that they haven't placed it correctly, even if they have. And so that's, that's important to think about, even if it doesn't seem immediately necessary when you're first kicking off your design. Another thing that you like, that we like to think about is uh, potential for cross-contamination, especially in a, in a device that is specifically designed for multi-user use. That's where things like reprocessing or maybe if you have a device uh, that is for multiple users on the durable side, but has a single use disposable, you just make sure that you've got an appropriate amount of filtration between your, uh, your durable and your disposable such that any kind of backflow from, from the user you know, let's say in the cool stack case, backflow from breathing uh, into that nasal mask, you want to make sure that anything um, bacterial or viral that, that could reach the device is going to be filtered out on the way over there. Another thing that you want to think about is the frequency of connection. So you, you need a different level of reliability and compliance and something that is going to be cycled daily versus something that's going to be cycled, you know, replaced every six months. So frequency of connection is definitely a huge area that you, you want to study before you uh, proceed into detailed design. 